business, the psychological, emotional process that we call compassion might be, I think, one of the most profitable skills, the skill of compassion. And I call it a skill because I think of compassion as being proactive empathy. Compassion, it implies more action, it implies really getting into it, really taking it seriously, getting involved. And the reason why I think compassion is so important is because compassion implies not only proactively going and trying to help and seeing how another person feels, but it also involves feeling those feelings yourself, experiencing the emotion that the other person is experiencing. So compassion is not only feeling the pain, but wanting to. It's, I want to know how you feel. I want you to help me experience this thing. And I think that once you go through the process of understanding another person's perspective, what they're dealing with, where they're coming from, what their circumstances are, the conversations that they've had, the thoughts that they're having in their head, the fears, all the things that are going on around them, when you understand them to the point and you're simulating them to the point in your mind where spontaneously that feeling comes up for you, you go, oh, wow, that's, that's how I'd feel if I was in that situation. That's how you know you're getting it when you experience the emotion that they would probably be experiencing. Not when you think, oh, I'd probably be feeling really sad. It's when you feel sad and you go, oh, now I get it. You know the difference between kind of a little aha, where you go, oh, aha, and then there's a realization where you go, oh, I, I have a realization. I have a concrete experience of what that would feel like. It's important to get to that point, I believe, when you're trying to think like a customer, so you can then know what to do, how to communicate with them, how to get their attention, what to say once you have their attention. If you're not there, if you're not experiencing that and you don't get it, there's going to be no connect and the customer is going to feel no connect. Have you ever been in a conversation or an experience with your spouse or your kids or a loved one or a good friend and they're saying something and you're like, no, you're wrong, you just don't get it but they know you don't get them, and so there's just this resistance level you can't get through. Well, if you were to say, you know what, let's stop for a second. Help me experience what you're trying to experience. Help me feel it. Will you tell me what you're experiencing? And then have them tell you and communicate it, and then say, okay, I don't get it, I don't get it, and keep having them tell you until you feel that feeling. When you feel the feeling and you go, oh, now I understand, you'll have a breakthrough with them. Something will happen. Immediately there'll be a connect where they'll stop and they'll say, oh, someone understands me, and then you'll make dramatic progress. If, do you know what I'm talking about? You know that experience? Well, customers are people too. They're real humans who have real needs. And the things, the situations that they're in, the things that they need to solve those problems, to get what they want, whether it be a positive result or to solve a negative result, they're doing it for emotional reasons. And if you can get inside their skin and you can feel what they're feeling, it will trigger that aha so that when you start communicating with them, it'll be mesmerizing, it'll, it'll be mesmerizing, it'll be almost hypnotic. They'll be riveted. They'll, they'll have this feeling like, wow, someone gets where I am coming from. I only know a few people very few people, who when we, when we have a conversation about what to do in a marketing campaign or how to write an ad, where the first thing they do is they go to what I call use case thinking. And we'll talk more about that later. Where they say, well, if I was this person, here's how I'd feel. This is what I'm probably going through. And they get right, it's the first thing they do is they get right into it. So this is part of the mindset of creating the customer avatar is you've got to have this ability.